Hi, and welcome to the podcast, OK Karen. OK Karen. OK Karen. Um, okay. Today, tonight, we are going to be reminiscing about our eighth grade and ninth grade years together. We At, yeah. Little, At little girls. St. John's. We're both representing with our class t-shirts. Yes. Um, mine is from my our senior year, though. When is yours? Do you I know? I don't know what year mine is, but I'm going to stand up and show you the back. It's, it's pretty worn. Um, and so there is a 98 with all of our names on it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. How nice. Um, I didn't see my name though. Well, I'm sorry. And a lot okay. of the letters have peeled off because I actually wore this shirt quite a bit. Um, Which is kind of surprising. Back in the day where, you know, we all wore our shirts big and the sizes were a little different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> back when it was like, you can get a small and it would be the size of an extra large today for women. <laughs> because they've changed everything. That's the truth, and right? Super small now. Um, okay. Do you so have any shout outs? Let's shout -outs? do some shout outs. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you want to shout out? I do out? have one. I okay. need to. Okay. So Leslie mm -hmm. um, stopped me and she was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I heard y'all talking about Terry Gar. Terry Gar was in Miss, was in Mr. Mom. I like Terry when we Gar. talked about, yeah. She, well, did we say something negative about Terry? Because really. Leslie was you like, she was alive or not. Okay. Like, well, she know. does have it. She, I think she has MS is what Leslie said. I think okay. it's MS, but she is still alive. And Leslie said, she's a very lovely person. So if we said anything negative about Terry Gar, we are so sorry. So sorry. So I have sorry. some shout outs. <gasps> Let's hear them. Um, so to our, shout out, of course, to our fans that are listening. We have we love five subscribers on our YouTube channel right now. I mean, that may not sound like a lot to you people that are listening, but that's a lot for us. Yeah. Just for us talking. Um, I would also like to shout out Miss Judy, Angela's mom, for finding oh. Angela's yearbooks, which have really helped because we're about to show you all some pictures of Angela. Yeah. <laughs> um, and without those yearbook pictures, this would not be near as awkward or funny. So yeah. Good you. job, mom. Thanks. Um, and then I also want to shout out, so I have a couple friends that just started listening. Um, you posted recently the one, the game night one, which I had so much fun doing the game night one. I, I loved it. One of those. Um, and they watched. And so my friends, Katie and Elizabeth, and then also um, a couple friends from college who I don't keep in touch with as much as I should anymore. Um, Beth, Beth, for, you know, Beth, because she traveled well, with us a ton. I know Beth. I know. Yeah, so you she, keep in touch with Beth. Beth. I hope that you have listened to more and that you're enjoying it as much as the first one that you, that you watched. Um, we would, we'd love to see you. I don't know when or how, but we just, we miss you. And then I also um, my friends, Lauren and Lainey, who are over on the East coast um, in the Jersey area. And they are, yes, I believe Jersey area. That sounds terrible. Pennsylvania. Yes. But anyway, they're not in the same place, but they're listening. And that was a surprise. I was like, that's so oh. fun. Yeah. So shout out to all the, the new. Listeners. Yes. Thank y'all for listening. Yeah. Yay. Okay. So you want to start with uh, eighth okay. and ninth grade. Tom Roberts. Okay. So Betsy and I both went to St. John high school and it was seventh through 12th grade. We're starting though with eighth grade because that's when Betsy joined us in eighth grade. Um, this school is, was kind of small. I mean, we thought it was big, but really from seventh to 12th grade, it was about 300, 350 kids. It had one main hall, a gym, another building that had the library. And then upstairs had, I think like Couple two classrooms, offices. Yeah. And then the field house had two classrooms out there. So, um, yeah. and that was it. That was our campus. <laughs> yeah. So about 300 kids. We had usually about average, about 60 kids in our class every year. And were right. 70. Um, so we knew everybody. And like their mamas and their dads and their brothers and sisters. Right. And sometimes even their cousins. So I knew everybody. There starting eighth grade year, which was 93, mm -hmm. 94. So we started the year at 13 and we're about to show you the pictures of 13 year old Angela and 13 year old Betsy. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here we go. Um, okay. So you're hinged. Here's, here's eighth. Oh, 
That is just beautiful. So <laughs> we so cute. We're so, so little. Can I say, and I don't want to hurt your feelings, no, but you I've told you right this ahead. before. You dive in, Karen. Um, I, <laughs> you look like you just got out of rehab. You know, I might have. You don't know. You know, you do. Um, or you look like you just got out of that movie, My So My So Called Life, with Jared Leto and Chloe. I Ames. love that. It was a TV show. It was great. It was only one or two seasons. Oh, it was man, wonderful. Jared Leto, like oh, heartthrob when it came out, right? Love it. He was That's such like a rebel. And I rewatched it as an adult. Have you seen it as an adult? No. He's no. How not you re- a great character. Like he's, How did you rewatch it as an adult? Finally, like she goes on a date with him. He's just like, okay, yeah. Like, I don't know why she likes him that much. He's, he's not like the brightest and he doesn't communicate no. with her. He's just really like quiet. He's just like, he's that smoldering hot guy, yes. you know, that you're like, ooh, but no, he's not a good, yeah. But and Claire um, Danes is how, great. So anyway. How did you watch that? My So-Called Life, if you, um, it was on Netflix or Hulu or something. And you could watch Oh, I don't think it's on it. Netflix. But so you look I'll like look you got out of and we'll and okay, I'll find thanks. out. You look like you got out of rehab. And I look, I mean, I'm just gonna say it. I look very innocent and sweet. <laughs> you do. Well, we we both have really baby faces. Like if I didn't yes. know this was eighth grade, I would have thought this could be like fifth or sixth grade. What do you think? Um, probably. I mean, yeah, probably. Like if this was somebody else looking at it, I would say, um, this is maybe sixth grade. These are sixth grade girls. Yeah. Because, oh, oh, we totally look different than what eighth graders look like now. That's the thing. Yes. It's it's so crazy how right change because this is what, okay. So internally, this is what middle schoolers still are. Externally, they know their makeup. They have all these tutor- tutorials. They dress differently. They're way more put together right now. I They're think like because mini, of technology. Oh, for sure. There are many Kardashians or many, um, yeah. what is it? Like they get on YouTube or TikTok and, and do all their makeup and their hair different. I don't even think I'm wearing makeup here. I probably didn't start wearing makeup. I'm glad I have contacts and not <laughs> my glasses on here. <laughs> for sure was not wearing makeup. And I don't even think... I wore makeup at all. Now, what's around your your neck? Do you know what it's that is? It's a cross. Is? It's like a leather strip with like oh, a cross or something. Okay. Okay. You're look at you. Look at yeah. you. I'm like a grungy Christian person. You are yeah, you so, look like But internally, hmm. this is what middle school life is. You're just these like little kids trying to be older and bigger than you are trying to wear big kid pants and you you're not there yet so just completely awkward and cute and little yes. little baby face kids all going to middle school um and outwardly now i think it's changed now i think especially girls are way more put together than we were at this age now they look like they're oh, 20 yeah. going into eighth grade but right we were we were not we were not wearing makeup earrings yeah. Look at my hair. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Now, I can probably bet I have earrings on if I can look close. My no. mama always wanted me to wear some earrings. Thank you, mom. Still to this day, I do it. My mom did not. And as we're going to see in the next picture, my mom also did not warn me that my hair should not be done in bangs. So this side oh. thing I think is bad. Just wait till we get to ninth grade. To so, ninth grade. So here's little eighth grade Angela and Betsy. Yeah. Aren't we just, we've changed a lot. Thank goodness. I can tell you, <laughs> I remember, yes, we have. I think we've gotten better with age. This yes, was, I would say that too. A lot of years ago, 20. Yeah. yeah uh, 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 we don't need to go into that. <laughs> we don't need to go into that. Okay. A lot of years ago. And I can, I do remember, and you're going to laugh at this and I don't know why things stick in my head. You can tell stories and I'm like, I have no recollection of that at all. People's names, like, I just, yeah. there's a lot of stuff I don't remember, but when we were talking about how we dressed and how we looked in middle school, I thought of this time we were at a football game and I had on black combat boots and like cut off jeans, like shorts and a flannel shirt over like a white t-shirt or something. Did you secretly like Nirvana also? I, and yeah, I didn't know yeah. About I love like the grunge look. Now that's yes, really so funny because it's like 13 year old Betsy. Look at this picture. <laughs> but meanwhile, I'm dressing in like combat boots with flannel. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I'm sure you had zero attitude. Oh, right. Yeah. Because this picture is about as much attitude as you could possibly get. Where mine I, looks like I actually have no attitude. No, I'm, yeah, exactly. I'm like, <laughs> take the picture. Uh -huh. So, but I remember, this is why I remember that I, I used to dress that way. And I, I kind of wonder what my parents were thinking too. Like, they're just probably, probably like, whatever. I don't care. Like They were probably we were praying for you. A lot, a lot, a lot of prayers. Yeah. And so, but we were at the football game. And I remember that one of the guys who I thought was a popular guy in our class said, oh like in passing, I wasn't sitting with his group, but in passing, I was like going up down the bleachers or something. And he said, Betsy. And I was like, yeah. And he was, he said, uh, I like your look or like something like that. I like your clothes. I like your look. And I was like, who said that? Rush. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no he laughing. said that, I knew you were going to say that. Really? His name. Yes. Because yeah, because he didn't play football. So, but, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. But this was, this would have been like high school game anyway. So, and we were in eighth oh, or ninth grade. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, probably the guy. Well, they, hey, the ninth look at you. Nice, so. Yeah. So that was like a moment of fame. I was feeling pretty proud of my flannel. Um, <laughs> and combat boots. <laughs> and my combat boots. Um, so yeah, so that's that. I'm trying to move. Where I must so. say. I don't think I owned a pair of combat boots in my life. I've no. never owned a pair of no, combat boots. No, you did. No, of course you no, did. No, no. There's a, there's well, a difference. But, you know, I have to think that probably a lot of girls in our class in eighth and ninth grade were wearing big bows in their hair and very more like Southern feminine things. Yeah, that's my, that was more my style. I didn't own any bows. I had mm -hmm. barrettes. And ponytails, like rubber bands, but I didn't have. Oh, I may I'm have sorry. owned a scrunchie. It was probably flannel. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you ready for ninth grade? Do yes, you, let's go. So we met in eighth grade. Do you want to tell any stories of eighth grade? Um, um, so the only thing I can remember in eighth grade, I mean, I, I don't remember a lot because really seventh, eighth, it all kind of goes in. I do remember eighth grade though. Um, my religion teacher just so happened to be the principal. So you had, you were in a different class because you had actually a religion teacher. Mine was the principal. So out of Monday through Friday, he might show up one day, two days a week. He mm -hmm. never showed up a whole week in a row. So my religion class, I learned, that's how I learned how to deal, um, like a set of, how to, shuffle a deck of cards and deal poker and play poker. Those are we, good skills to learn in middle school. I just didn't expect yeah. to learn them in religion class. Religion class. Yes. Yeah. So that's what I remember most from probably eighth grade is that. I think, okay. You so know? For eighth grade for me, I was coming into a brand new school, was not happy about moving. Um, told my parents I did not want to move. We moved from Jackson, Mississippi, about three hours south to the coast to Gulfport area. Jackson. And we, so I started school there. Um, my sister was a junior and I was in eighth grade. And um, yeah, so we just started. We were in, although the class had maybe 60, 70 people, it was divided into three sections. Three. Right? Mm -hmm. Eight, A, B, A, C. Um, 8C. And so you stayed with them pretty much the whole day. You just all day. Yeah. The English to PE or whatever. Um, and so I wasn't in a class with Angela at the time. And I would say we probably got to be closer friends in ninth grade and then definitely 10th grade. Um, and so sure. I was made some friends, but I was pretty quiet, as you can see, slightly awkward eighth grader as most eighth graders are and i feel like even maybe a little scary in that picture we, i mean oh did you think i was scary was i i mean i'm just looking at the picture i don't <laughs> re really remember i just am looking at this picture and thinking i probably would have been scared of this but and then if you would have showed up in everyone some, in eighth grade and then if you showed up in some combat boots like who is this stranger stranger danger <laughs> she's not from around here <laughs> she doesn't yeah <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so we, we saw each other at lunch. Um, and I think probably, I don't know if it was eighth or ninth grade, we started eating outside at lunch and that was kind of our thing with our friend group. Um, mm -hmm. we always met outside, sat in the parking lot between cars, like in a circle, circle in the yeah. freaking heat 
Um, and cold. Yeah. I would say that started in eighth or ninth grade. We just didn't want to be in the cafeteria, I guess. I don't know why we did that either, but it was for us, it was very comfortable. I mean, we called ourselves powwow. Which I think the name came later. One of the teachers said, oh, yeah. you're having a little powwow. Um, and it just and we stuck. Like, okay, yeah. yeah we, we call it powwow. We go outside. But that was, wow. yeah, that was our, um, that was where we ate. And you came, I think you hung out with Becca a lot in mm-hmm. eighth grade. And then, then Becca. that's how, yes. Just kidding. Becca's not listening. <laughs> I don't even know where Becca is. I don't know where Becca is. <laughs> we lost contact with her. <laughs> um, but then that's how you kind of came into the the friend group. And there was probably 10 of us maybe about that. I mean, yeah, some people would eat out there sometimes and eat inside other times. Yeah. There was probably six of us that were there every day, very devoted yeah. every, every day. Every um, day. And Amber, we would bring our Amber lunch or we'd one. buy lunch inside and bring it out. Or as you'd mentioned to me, we would eat Amber's lunch. We uh, loved Amber. Amber always brought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and she did not eat the crust. So we would eat the crust of her peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I do not remember and this, but it does not surprise me. I can't believe you don't remember it. And we would split her crust and an order of fries from inside. And that was our lunch. How flippin' healthy is that? Yeah. You well, know, and you but, said, I look forward to it. I was banking on Amber's yeah. crust every day. And I'm like, I mean, if she came with, sounds so bad. <laughs> if she came with crustless bread, I would be like, oh, Amber, what am I'm I going to eat? I'm going to starve today. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Amber and Miss Marie for yes. not cutting the crust off. <laughs> for, for feeding your friends at school. <laughs> But you know, Marino, that that's what you're feeding. I don't know if everyone else's high school was like this, but our high school, you had to put your lunch order in, in in the the first like 15, 30 minutes of school. And at eight o'clock, I was not hungry at all, especially for lunch. So I was like, nope, not eating, not eating. Well, when it comes around to 1130 noon, yeah, I'm hungry. So should have prepared better in life, I guess. But we did fine. The crust was good. Thanks, Amber. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Amber. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so rain or shine, we were out there. Um, so that's what I remember. I remember being jealous of your class because you did. You had like a free period every day for religion. And y'all yeah. just goofed off. And a lot of times you didn't even have an adult in the room. And I do Many. there was a couple students or one in particular that would always leave to go to the office and tell the office, the secretary, that there was no teacher. Um, and you guys would barricade the door and be like, mm-hmm. sit down. You're not going anywhere. Maya yeah. used to do that. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, uh, I never barricaded the door, but I was like, why doesn't she just it. sit down? Yeah, yeah. Just sit down. It's fine. We don't have a, we're not going to like, I mean, we're, the worst we're doing is playing poker. So, and I we mean, weren't even betting. <laughs> So, I mean, come on. I'm just getting, I'm just getting my skills up. Okay. We're not, right. there's no money in this game. Those that's helped me a lot in life. I can tell you as a teacher, I can tell you that there should be an adult in the room. Probably. In a class. I'm just going to throw that out you, there. So I can see why they would need to send some adult to be present in the room. <laughs> I can tell you as my mama listening to this podcast and she's like, I paid what for you not to have a teacher. <laughs> so much for that. Catholic education. Our school was not free. So yeah, yeah. that so eighth grade religion, great. but Hey, I didn't find in religion ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th. So missing that eighth grade really didn't hurt me that much. You know, <laughs> That's a great way to think of it. I went on and, and actually taught CCD at church as an See, adult. So you look at you and fine. all because you gained poker skills. Cause I can deal some cards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Now and I need to eighth grade on right, because we're about to turn to the ninth grade picture. And if you think this <sighs> is bad. Oh, is ninth grade worse? I don't think my ninth grade's worse. You don't remember my ninth grade. Maybe Anybody? your ninth grade is worse. I can't wait. Hold on. What's going on here? Let's see. Uh, So we have dead air, so I'm just going to fill it and talk. (laughs) Uh, We were the St. John Eagles. Love that. Because when I was in elementary school, we were the St. John Eagles. And then I just went to the high school and continued to St. John Eagles. And St. John is not there anymore. Uh, Katrina kind of 
wiped it out along with the other school and they merged to another bigger St. Patrick High School on the coast. Just FYI, while Betsy's pulling up pictures, are you having problems? Um, yeah, my computer is like not working at all. Hold on. Oh. There we go. Uh, oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> I did you. not remember this of you. That's what I'm We have I'm a color photo about. here that I pulled up from my photo albums. And um, I still look sweet and innocent. Gonna just say that again. You look about the same. I look. No, nope. my hair's longer. That's it. I don't even think I have makeup on here. You look like a different person. Like this is not even your identical twin. I hope this that isn't I look even like your a twin. Person between that picture and me right now. <laughs> you. So eighth grade, ninth grade, and you right now are three people. They're Good. three different I'm people. <laughs> this little girl did not go to rehab. This little girl actually looks like like a, a sweet and innocent little girl that has a, why did you do the bangs? Like why? I don't know, but someone, some adult in my life should have said, no, Betsy, you should not have bangs. And if you do, you yeah. should definitely not have straight bangs. That's a bad idea. Your hair is- So hair. Gonna, I'm going to take th this opportunity to call out your mama because okay. she's the one that should have said, Betsy, no. Yeah. But of course, if she was something. dealing with that girl before with all the attitude, she probably did say no. And you're like, whatever, I'm going to do whatever, whatever Oh, I want. she probably you did know? tell me no. The other thing is she didn't try and straighten her hair. She knew better. So then, but I, I think because everybody else at this time, not you apparently, but a lot of other girls that we were around had bangs and then they would, what do you call it? Tease oh, it, like roll it with tease, a yes. Or, and then and kind of um, feathered look and yeah. Yeah. And yeah so no. Ugh. I thought, oh, I'm going to cut mine and then I'd curl it with a curling iron. So it was straight. Like that? They're like mine, oh. use a curling iron to make your hair straight. So mm. that's what I mm, did. Mm, mm, mm. And this is my picture day look, which mm, should tell you mm. something also. This is the best it gets. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So let this me ask me you this question. This is putting forth a lot of effort. I don't want to don't want to uh, hurt your feelings, but did that same boy in the popular group say he's liking this style? <laughs> I don't think that we ever spoke. Because this is, oh, you never spoke. <laughs> that was it. You spoke in eighth grade and that was it. Um, no, I mean, this is the thing about our class, which is interesting. I, I don't feel like there was anyone in our class that I couldn't talk to. Like, yeah. you know, if the teacher broke us up in groups to work with people or you see somebody in the hall, there's no one that I felt like bullied by or like, I mean, I was mm -hmm. always very insecure, which looking at this picture, you can understand why. Understand why um, completely. But, but I don't feel like it was like, and maybe I, thank God, maybe it wasn't directed at me if there was like serious bullying. I mean, there were definitely people that would tease other people and maybe it was in other groups and we weren't really affected by it. But I definitely felt like, although I wasn't best friends with everybody in our class, even the people I didn't get along with, I didn't feel so much that like I couldn't say something, talk to them. You know what I mean? But you, yeah, because I feel like even though we didn't hang out with them every weekend, right. we still in class could talk sure, and, exactly. you know, yeah. do whatever we needed to do. And it was okay if, if you weren't in one of my classes or Teresa probably better because I actually learned and didn't get in trouble. But, um, Are you, you know, me and Teresa got you in trouble. I mean, there was that time in, in history class that the teacher was seating us and all of our group <laughs> was still standing and there was only two rows and we were thinking you're I putting us them. all together. You told him, you were like, I can't, Hey, I can't sit with him. I'm going to get in trouble. This and is he a got bad idea. You. Yes. So we have some, which then he got mad at me. And he right, was like, sit down, Hess. I don't know if he really liked you though. <laughs> um, there's do re there's good reason why he didn't like me. Very good so, reason. It started in, it started in ninth grade. Ninth yes. grade geography. He taught history. Um, what? He taught history and Mississippi. I think I thought ninth grade Mississippi was Mississippi. Was eighth grade Mississippi history because I felt like I just met. I just had moved there, and one of the quizzes we had was a map of the coast with all of the different, we had to label the different cities. And I remember being like, I don't know which one's Pasquishian or D'Iberville. 
and everybody oh, else got a hundred. Yeah. Everybody got a hundred on this quiz. It was supposed to be like an easy grade. And I'm like, I moved here like 15 days ago. I don't know the names yeah. of these towns. Sorry. Um, I did. Yeah, I, that was like the only time I think I failed the quiz, which obviously. But remember, so he did, I thought he did something with Mississippi because he showed that video that was completely inappropriate about kids. Do you remember this video? Was it about like the sex laws? Yes. Yeah. Cause he but was teaching us how like, like sex before marriage is illegal in the state of Mississippi, but it was not like he just said that like it, or referenced it as far as a law that's whatever. Um, he talked to like, it was like a, a day or two of class was spent on this topic. It was so, it was An so inappropriate. An example, because yes. he would use oh. kids in the class, he would use their names in example. But not their names. Like he said, Angela Barrow. Instead of Darrow. Instead of Darrow. And I'm making out with, and then he'd name a guy in the classroom. Yes. But he would say the same thing. Instead of Justin, he'd and say, you know, you're like, Justin. What? what? Yeah. I mean, and he's like, oh, oh, we don't, we don't know it's you. Yeah. Yes, people do. We're not idiots. We do know you're talking about us. He said some very inappropriate things. In fact, that's one thing that was, uh, I think when I got, I got two detentions in my whole high school career. Really? Oh, Look how bad you were. Ninth grade. This girl in this picture got two detentions. This year. <laughs> um, and didn't get any the year before, any years after, but I got two and it was within one week. And I remember my parents sat me down and were like, what is going on? I said Alanis Morissette and Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> so and Teresa Brazil. <laughs> I Shout out to Teresa. We were not is, influences on each other. This is surprising, but I never got a detention in high oh, school. Oh, I'm very surprised. Wait, didn't he, weren't you in the class with um, Mr. Dykes when he gave yes, us the bus one? But I was not talking actually. I was okay. listening to someone talk to me. So it just happened just so happened. My mouth was not moving because I was listening to the conversation. At that second, when he wrote everyone's he, name down. When he wrote everyone's name down, I was, I mean, I was completely participating in your conversation, <laughs> just not talking. No. So he, I did not get a, a detention. Yeah. So first I'll tell you about the, the uh, history teacher and who would say, he would say inappropriate things and tell inappropriate stories and watch inappropriate videos a lot. And I think everybody knew it. And, uh, and so I raised my hand, here I am sitting. This was the other thing I was probably more prompted because I was sitting by all my friends in like a little circle of two rows of all of us together. And I was like, this, and you know, he called on me and I said, Mr. So-and-so, don't you think this is completely inappropriate? And he oh, did not appreciate that. And he said, you know what, Miss Hess? Um, you know, you don't, you don't need to be, I'm, or yeah, he said, put your hand down and we're not talking. And I was like, um, and I, I raised my hand again and he was like, I'm not calling on you. And I said, well, I guess it's cause it is inappropriate or something. And then, or maybe I only said it once. I don't think I got too feisty, but, um, and he said, well, you can have a detention today. And that so what did you do for detention? I think we sat in a room for like an hour after school. I don't okay. think, I think that's it. I don't think there was anything else. Or do we have to pick up trash at one point? Like go around the- No, I've never got one. Well, it was I either mean, that. Not that, obviously didn't affect me very much, but also right. that was in science class, this, so we'd all, the bell would ring. We would run to our next class, especially when we were in eighth and ninth grade, um, because it was a one hallway. Everybody's lockers were in the main hallway. And the one, yes. Pushed around by the bigger kids. And you're just like, we'd go outside sometimes in the breeze to run. go around to get to our class at the other end if it was far. Because sometimes you did have to run. Well, and then the bell would ring when you're supposed to be in your class and seated and quiet. But come on. Um, and so we all came in one time and the bell rang and he was standing at the podium. And I mean, we'd had this teacher for months. It's not like it was anything new. And we're all right. sitting in class talking and he's standing at the podium. And he stood there and he stood there and he started writing down names of everyone that was talking. So obviously he was having a bad day. And then at some point he like, you know, slammed his hand on the desk. Or bam, bam, bam. And he and was like, everybody yeah. that's talking is a detention. 
and he listed it was 14 pretty people, much the I whole, think. yeah, in the whole, which is almost the class because the yeah. class was no more than 20 probably. And Amber was the only one that got out of it because she offered to do like a writing assignment. She was like, right, a huge writing assignment. Else. And I was yes. like, whatever. I'm gonna, that's ridiculous. That's completely unfair. And so we all had detention together, which was probably a joke also. <laughs> Well, but I, both of those again, happened in one week and that was kind of a little, a little shocking for your parents. I'm her, sure. Cause, cause my parents, parents you're like, this is inappropriate and give a lot of attitude. I think, you know, you need, you need to be put in your place probably as a ninth grader, ninth grade. Right. Grade. Although she looks like she maybe didn't have a lot of attitude to the teachers. She did. Look she had her. a ton. So also in things. ninth grade, we had that, um, math teacher, that was kind of on the verge of a nervous breakdown. I think he had two nervous breakdowns while he taught us. Yeah. <laughs> he, he left public school and came to our school. And between every class, he would go outside and smoke as quick as he could, uh, smoke as much as he could. Sometimes and during class, he would leave and go out yes. his way and have a cigarette out there and waiting and, and smoke it. Every day, he gave us a new syllabus. Every day. We, I kept syllabus. him. We had seven yes. of them after the first couple weeks sack. of school. Seven new crazy. syllabi, um, and he kept giving us new ones. And I would tell my parents, like, well, he just rewrote it, and it's a new syllabi, which it is was so weird to think of now. Like, why wouldn't you just tell the kids, like, I'm changing this? Like, it's so – Right. Or why would you need to? Like, well, what are you changing it? It's so important. Just leave it that way. So your quizzes are 15 instead of 20% of your grade this, for yeah. the semester? Eh, he's whatever. on the verge of a nervous breakdown For which sure. we didn't help sneaking in and out of the windows oh my god you know we i can't believe we did that the windows so we had these glass panel windows that would open they were horizontal and they would like you could crank them open this yeah way. you go like that and they were about ground level so we and then oh, they, they were on top that were solid or were open also i don't know why they had ones that opened with no screens or anything at ground level. Um, and then we just, just hop right hop over right and out. go underneath and we would leave during class. We would come back in through the window during class, which really says sometimes we'd come back in through the door though. And he'd be yes. like, <laughs> where were you? And I'd be like, Oh, it was in the library. And he's like, well, sit down. He didn't, he didn't yes. notice or he noticed that we were leaving through listen, the window and he didn't care. Didn't you come through? The same class multiple times. Yeah. Like you left the window and came in through the door multiple uh -huh. times. And he really was beside himself. Of course, you know, that wasn't very nice of us. And if kids, if you're listening, don't do that to your okay. teachers. Don't try but it. Because man, did thing. we have fun. Well, here's the thing. If we were leaving class through the window, let's take a look at these girls here on the screen. We were the good kids. We were the more innocent, follow the rules type kids. So if right. we were leaving out the window, what were the other kids doing? Yeah. Who like knows? smoking I mean, class? Were, <laughs> were they leaving though or did they just not care and just yeah, sit was, there? And... Was everybody leaving at the same time? I don't know. Because there was only five kids left in the classroom. Um, and then I remember that he mentioned several times about smoking pot. Remember, he would tell these stories. Oh, like, I know you time. kids, you just want to go home and you want to, you want to have your grass and you want to smoke your, your weeds. And, and he's like, but you, you, you do your math first and then you smoke your weed. <laughs> That's his solution. Yeah. Right. I'm like, do math. Okay. So, um, you know, yeah, he had a lot of issues because I don't even think he made it. I think by Christmas he was done. Oh yeah. Didn't. He, they had to, they had to let him go at Christmas. Yeah. We had a new teacher, although I don't remember who our new teacher was. I don't either. And it might've been that they shifted some things around and like Rosetti took an extra class or they figured out some other way to do it. But yeah, but there was a few things that happened in that class. Uh, somebody, he would kind of go off randomly. Like, do you remember this one time? Um, somebody needed a pad. One of the girls. Oh yeah. And they threw a now, it was not a use pad, obviously, but threw it across the room, but it didn't make it across the room. I think I was the one throwing it. I or thought I was the receiving. I can't it. remember. I think yeah, I was throwing you, it. I think you needed it. Okay. Or I don't no, remember. maybe you did throw it. And another girl, but it didn't make it across the room. I mean, they're he, light. It kind of floated. It didn't quite make it. He kicked that pad all around. 
room. He came over and was like, what are you doing? What are you girls doing? And, um, and then he saw what it was on the floor and like kind of, what do you call it in soccer? Dribbled it. Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> dribbled it up to the front of the room. All and then the I front. think I went up and I like picked it up and I was like, it's just a pad. <laughs> like, and it, well, it's not used. Like, we're not like that. Come on. Oh my gosh. I was like, yeah. I'm so afraid of it. It's just a pad. And then, you know, you know oh. probably use that excuse for like the next month so I could get out of class. Or like, <laughs> I left out the window because I had my period. Actually, right. I never noticed. But here's my other question. How did other teachers not know that that was happening? Because as a teacher, and I taught middle school some, I would know if the students were leaving out a window of another teacher's class. Like, first of all, they're walking around the hallways in the middle of class all the time. And like, wouldn't you think to ask like, oh, you and four of your friends all got out of one teacher's class. Why did he let you all out at the same time? And why is this happening every day at this time? And also, did no one see us walking by their windows after we walked in and out of the windows? Like, it's just interesting. Remember, his classroom was kind of close to the main. It wasn't like the main hallway. Yeah. we had to for sure walk by one classroom. I know it was, we walked by Miss Bartlett's classroom because hers was always right there by the, yeah. the no, main entrance. I think that's funny. And then the other thing is that he, um, <laughs> bless you. Thank you. He would try and teach. And I say try, cause I think he would explain things on the board. Um, but he'd go through the problem one time. And if you, this must've been algebra, pre-algebra. Yeah, it was algebra. Okay. It was yeah, I think, no, and, I think it was pre-algebra. You're and right. if you had a question, immediately, oh. like if you raise your hand and say, I don't understand this, or can you do another example of this? He would get so upset. And so he'd, like, he'd get just, yeah, frazzled. Right, yes, that's what he would do. Rub his head, rub his, and his Take cigarettes his are off, sticking out. Room, and, like he'd yes. turn the lights off and walk out of the room and go smoke a cigarette and come back. And we're all like, he just left. Where did he go? He, he. <laughs> I mean, it got to be funny, of course, because you're dealing with oh, eighth and ninth was, graders. They're yeah. going to like start, you know, messing with you. Um, so at one point, I think I got, we had a quiz or a test and I think I had like a 90 on it. It wasn't a bad grade. I think I missed two problems. And I went up because we were supposed to be doing independent work, which is probably when we left the room and we we're working on problems at our desk. And I went up to his desk and I asked him if he could explain the one that I got wrong, if he could explain to me how to do it correctly. This is a normal question. I mean, this is algebra, right? And we were supposed to go up if we had questions and he would help us with them. And he, and I I think I know why now (laughs) this happened. At the time, we were all like flabbergasted. He's like, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. And he scratched out the 90 and he wrote A plus 100. And then he wrote Boo to me, 100. Is that better, Miss Hess? And I was like, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So what happened? He just changed my grade. Did not explain the problem that I missed at all, but he changed my grade to 100. And I was like, but I wrote, and because on the paper it said, boo to me. (laughs) And he scratched out the 90 and wrote 100. Um, I literally was like, what the heck is going on? So you came back to your desk and was like, you showed us, look what he did. And I, I didn't get a hundred. I think I only missed one or two. And I was like, oh, let me get up there. I said, Hey, look at this problem. And he scratched mine out. And And he changed yours to a hundred. Yes, but he didn't put boo to me. He just was, oh, oh, you want a hundred too? Yes, oh, I, I would like a hundred. That was a big thing. Excuse me. Right. So weird. I oh. looking back on it now, I really at the time I didn't feel bad for the guy. We just like took advantage of him pretty Oh, completely. A hundred percent. But now looking back at it, I'm like, this this poor guy he should not have been teaching. He obviously had a lot of issues. Now also what I found out probably when I was in college or later is that my parents, they never told me but they went and had talked to the administration about this teacher and they never told me, which I'm glad because I had enough attitude with my teachers. So like it was pretty smart as parents, you're going to talk and complain about a teacher to not tell your middle schooler or your high schooler because they don't need to know it. And it doesn't need to change to me. They were, you respect your teacher. You do what they Mm -hmm. say, you know, you follow the rules, you do this. And then, but privately they went and talked to the administration was like, 
this is a seventh syllabus and this is the stuff we're hearing from class, but they never told me that. And which is really smart. And I'm glad I didn't because I didn't need to know. I didn't need to know that privately they were going, what's going on with questioning him. <laughs> but know? it's also, they probably didn't know the whole story either that we're out, you know, sneaking out of the windows. Oh, actually there's a picture of us in the annual. Oh yeah. Outside the window. Climbing out the window. Yes. Yes. And it's, I'm like, why, why is this in the annual? But hey, I guess everyone did it then. I think everybody knew. Everybody mm -hmm. knew. Apparently. For sure. And whoever the teacher was in charge of yearbook was <laughs> fine with it. They probably whatever. were posing and like joking yeah. around. It was during homecoming week. You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever. Homecoming week was the best week. It was year round. Was. So anyway, he was let go at Christmas and I do feel bad for him now, but at the time we had a lot of fun in his class. We did. We so did. I wonder if that's why us. if the administration had talked to him and knew that my parents had come in. And if that's why he, I he bet that, like, if your parents to you, came I'm in, so sorry, Miss Hess. You know what I mean? But I bet your parents weren't the only ones that came in. Oh, for you sure. Know? Or they wouldn't have had to let him go. I mean, they were obviously. Right. This was one class, one out of seven classes for the day that we had these things happening. I'm sure. And we were the freshmen when we had him. Right. So I'm sure. He, can yeah, you imagine taught, what the 10th, 11th, and 12th graders were doing? Right. Which I'm sure he taught. I mean, he didn't teach all of them, but he taught maybe the 11th grade because generally it was like 9th and 11th and then 10th and 12th teachers taught those classes. Um, yeah, he was, uh, bless him. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Um, I wonder what he's doing now. If he's, Are we know. done with the picture? Can I take this off? Cause yes, is, you could take it off because it's real bad. Because it's just, it's real bad. It is pretty bad. Okay, that's much better. Oh, there we go. I'll take Look my 40 year old self. I'll take I mean, too. with more makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So that so, was some of our class yeah, that experiences. Was eighth and, and ninth. You know, there is one other thing I forgot to say about eighth grade. Okay. Um, in science class, which science is kind of a big deal, you know, I wrote science, this down. math. I wrote this down. Go ahead. It's a big deal. They had a coach, one of the football coaches teaching science. I don't know. That was a great idea because he always mispronounced the word organism. Now, I don't need to say the word, do I? I'm not. No, just say it. We're adults. We're he would adults. say, he would say something, something orgasm. And when and he, he first said talking. it, yeah. And he would keep talking and people are like, wait, what? Did he just say that? And you're, you're thinking in your head. Did I miss? I must have misheard him. I, surely I misheard him. And then he would say it again. And we were like, by that point, looking around, is anyone else hearing? Yes. <laughs> that and he completely is. He's just saying what we're doing. All know if every he did time it on purpose. Or if he really just didn't know that that's not how to pronounce that word. How can an adult not know? Like, if you, it was in, if it was a science term that you just said in, incorrectly that's one thing or slipped up and used the wrong word but to use the wrong word and the wrong word is orgasm come on like but he said it so many times i know that's it was crazy yes and and in, and in the catholic school and we're just like huh eighth grade and we're eighth graders yes which is i think why he nobody said anything because i feel like uh -oh. it's like 10th or older people were like ah, yeah <laughs> orgasm. like people just would have shouted it out but the eighth graders were like mm -hmm. oh yeah just i mean you kept your mouth shut in eighth grade yeah, for for sure so yeah that's so that's the only other thing i had to add about eighth, eighth and ninth grade, grade. okay yeah. ninth grade i have a question was since we're on the topic of teachers and funny things that happen in class okay with ninth grade and i don't want to say the name but the teacher that we had um, in the Caritas Center for Religion, where people slept a lot. No, no, that was tenth. No, that was either that was either tenth or eleventh. I, I think, think that was eleventh. The eleventh, I think we had Ropel and Loppy. Oh yeah, yeah. So, they okay. actually taught us some stuff. So we'll talk about that later then, because that's yes. another that's another funny. That's one. A, so a hilarious we story. Uniforms. And we did. Tell us about the uniforms, Angela. Um, so you had a navy shirt, a white shirt, 
po like a little, uh, what's the collar called? Uh, Peter Pan collar. And yeah. then you had a, a light blue and a white like starch shirt. The girls wore a skirt, which only like three girls in the whole school wore a skirt and then plaid shorts. And then the guys wore khaki shorts or khaki pants. And we were we, allowed to wear khaki, or khaki shorts also, but they were butt ugly. Oh yeah. No one wore. I mean, one person I think wore those. And when we say skirts, we mean like skirts to your knee. Not yeah, business that I see pictures of kids like girls that are wearing them like they look cute and short. Like this isn't Britney Spears no. have a school girl uniform here. They were long and ugly. And so it was freezing, and we're in shorts. We just had tights under our shorts. It wasn't until we were juniors or seniors that we could wear khaki pants. Also, but they were and really then we particular. They had to be from like the uniform oh. store. Well, but again, supposedly they had to be, but mine weren't. Oh, I got. I think I it. just stuck by that time. I was like, I'm just wearing the shorts and the, and I'm just gonna wear tights. Um, and then we all had the same shoes. Everyone in the whole school had the same shoes. They did. There was about five. We had two options. You could wear what we called bucks, which were the suede shoes that were like um, bass. Yeah, bat. And they yeah. had pink soles, so they were non-marking. Or you and then, penny loafers, some kind of penny loafer kind, but not, really wore those. not many people did that. No. So everybody wore these bucks with the pink soles, which are non-marking. They're hideous. And one, one of the great things they did is one year after the summer, they had the basketball court redone. Um, I and think that was every summer they did that. Probably, maybe. And so they, we had school masks. The whole school would have masks on the basketball court. Um, and we would sat on the floor. So you would go with your class and they'd have like ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade. I guess some kids were in the bleachers, right? That would make sense. I don't think so. I think they had everyone on the floor, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. So there'd 11, be like a 12, folding yeah. chair where your teacher would sit like in the midst right. of like all these kids sitting on the floor. Well, when they redid the gym floor, they decided they didn't want anyone walking with their shoes on on the gym floor, which to this day I don't understand because they had gym class on the gym floor they had volleyball they played basketball i'm like why didn't they want us walking on the floor the, the teachers obviously were walking on it and our shoes are non-marking they're like right. these sold shoes so i don't anyway so tell them what what their solution was to this angela so um and they always called you seniors first seniors to seventh grade so seniors first they leave their class go to the gym and take off your shoes put your shoes over there Along so the then, side of the gym. Yes. So then 11th, 10th, 9th, 8th, 7th. So then when you leave, uh, seniors, you get to leave first. Oh, my gosh. Their shoes are at the bottom of the pile. Yeah. Like, so there's not that much room. It was basically like by the basket, right? By the basketball. Right. The end. And there was a pile, mounds of shoes that of are shoes. all the same. Yeah. They're identical and shoes. I remember some of the kids in our class, because we were eighth grade, had like two left foot feet shoes. <laughs> they didn't even have their their left and right. Yeah. So they call seniors so, to leave, and yeah, the seniors over there digging, trying to find their shoes. For 10 we're minutes. sitting there. We're just all waiting and waiting, and finally the teachers are like, come on, seniors, like get your shoes and get out of here. And they're like, we don't know where our shoes are. It was a mess. They, it was a I mess. Think, they they ended up stopping that because it was such a mess. And I don't I told yeah, you I'm just, surprised they didn't say like everybody leave your shoes in your homeroom in your classroom. On your desk. I know. I'm surprised <laughs> they didn't either. And, and walk just in your walk. Yeah. The <laughs> yeah. I could see them doing that. So that was the solution. It didn't last very long. They were like, No track of where you put your shoes. I'm like, there's three hundred pairs of shoes all on one side of the all door. the same shoes too of the same shoes exactly because oh, one year we, reverent one year we wrote on our shoes yes. i didn't you yes, I, I think did. did and then the next year they said you can't write on your shoes like you did pictures and drawings and stuff even on and the bottom like, of your shoes you weren't allowed to write on the bottom of your shoes like sometimes we'd write like our name and stuff inside our shoes obviously we weren't doing that much in class we'd take our shoes off and write inside them right. um but we did you weren't allowed to put masking tape on your shoes. No, you couldn't do it. Because I made them look like Birkenstocks 
at one point. Why? Masking Why? tape. Was because that the eighth grade attitude, or was that? And I don't have later. anything to be a rebel that's important. <laughs> anything to to rebel against that's important. I'm gonna rebel you're against gonna, my shoes <laughs> and my sweatshirt that I'm not allowed to have tied around my waist. Oh, or your sweater. Your sweater yes. couldn't be around your waist either. It had to be tied. No, you had to wear it or just put it around your arm. Yes. So then we got kind of, you know, attitudes and uh, tied it around our shoulders, like really preppy people. I think you tied yours around your I head. I did. Because yeah. I believe the rule was you were not allowed to wear your sweater, or your sweatshirt around your waist, which is the most common place to wear it when you don't have it on. And so that became a rule, which I just thought was dumb. We all thought it was dumb that that was a rule. But the I still think that say, I don't understand that rule. It's because they wanted us to look nice. And then I think also someone said that people can hide if their shirt isn't tucked in. <gasps> no. No. Their shirt may be untucked in the back if they have their sweatshirt around their waist. But I think ultimately it's because it didn't look as nice. It looked more casual with your sweatshirt or sweater around your waist. But then again, we're still all in uniform, people. So who freaking yes. cares? There's, there's only four or five options. It, yes, it wasn't exactly. that big of a deal. So, you know, if my skirt's long enough and I'm wearing the right shirt, do you really care? Well, they did. But it did not say, the letter of the law, it did not say... Um, anything else but wearing it in the places it just said it can't be worn around the waist so i do remember walking through the hall one time with it tied around my around my head i'm surprised you didn't get a detention then oh i think sure th probably were just like take your sweater off your head and i was like yeah. no i probably just <laughs> because this I, has <laughs> i didn't want to back talk that much right, right. That. but ultimately a couple things about us in middle school i feel like I really liked going to school, even though I was awkward. Oh, I loved it. It was my social hour. For I sure. We had just had so much fun with our not friends. Not just middle school. Yeah. All of through high school, I would go to school and then come home and be on the phone. And my yes. dad would be like, who are you talking to? And I would say like Heather or Teresa or Betsy. And he's like, but you saw him in school today, right? And I said, Yes. Well, get off the phone and talk to us. And I was like, Dad, let me You're like, talk Dad, I saw him in school, but I only got to talk through all of religion class and all of math. Right. You don't get to talk all and, day. And Heather and I would talk during 90210, Beverly yes. Hills 90210. But just we on wouldn't the phone. talk. Yes, we just sit on the phone and we would talk during commercials. And my dad would be, he, would, he came in my room and he said, are, are you on the phone? I'm like, yeah, I'm on the phone. Well, why aren't you talking? Because we're watching this. He's like, you mean you're on the phone watching TV? He just didn't. But, you know, I mean, my dad was a talker too. So whatever. Right? Uh, yeah, he was a big talker and social. Um, but it, I liked school. I did not miss a whole lot of school because it was yeah, social hours. I liked it too. I, I just enjoyed my, my friend group so much. Um, I learned enough in high school. Yeah, I did fine in college. Uh, I don't feel like I had to work super, super hard, but it was enough and, you know, got into college and did fine. So, um, but yes, mostly I enjoyed uh, writing notes and hanging out with my friends Loved in the parking notes. lot at lunch. Um, of course, at the time, I would have never said that because we just complained about how awful it was. Like your the shirt is like a prison shirt for when we were it's, seniors, like this is the date of our release. That's our, yes, that's our um, graduation <laughs> date. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's a little. And I actually think the back says, You've got a good life, okay? I think the back says parole on, and yes. it's the date we graduated. Yes, exactly. So, of but course. I think I, I have to always be dramatic about that stuff, about little things. It's just yes. how you are. And that's what I was going to say. I think, though. What is so dramatic, and it's even more dramatic now because life is dramatic for kids and, and they have all the social media, which I'm so glad we didn't have social media Amen. back then. Gosh, I'm so glad we didn't have social media. Oh, could you it's imagine? so much harder now. Yes. And people are but so much meaner. They and are. Just, there's so much more pressure. Gosh, we had just such a, so it was so much better without it. That In looking back. All that, what you think is a huge deal, it's not. It's yep. so small in life and just let it go. Put a smile on your face and keep going. This is, it's, it's it is. you know, everyone has to go through high school, junior high and high school and 
everyone's experiences are different, some yes. better than others. We yeah. actually, I think, had a great experience. But, yeah, I think um, so too. I probably wouldn't have said that at the time. I would have said I love my friends, but school is like awful. Oh my God. So you didn't talk Valley Girl. No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> but I also didn't talk Southern. So um, what was I going to say? Yeah. One thing I see though, that's hard is like, if something embarrassing happened to us, um, you know, the next day or two days later, nobody's talking about it anymore. No, it's all, it's You're done. Right. right now, everything is documented on social media. Yeah. And that's a bad thing. Like, talked about so much faster. Like say something happened in one of our classes. When we left class in the three minutes we had to get to the next class, people were like, did, 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 did this happen blah, 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 in the hallways? And then you move on. Like that's how we spread information and it spread pretty quickly that way. But now it's like instantly something oh, happens. Because they have your phone. Everybody in knows class. it. Exactly. And so it's instant. So it's really like, I just think it's a lot harder for high school. I feel bad for middle school. I do too. Now I feel bad for all of them. I'm so just, glad we're out of that age. And I, I feel like people, kids and also adults are meaner and say things on social media that they wouldn't mm -hmm. say in person to someone's face. And you right. see that a lot with high schoolers because they're already kind of on edge. Um, and so then they're going to, you know, backstab their friends. They're going to talk bad about somebody, make fun of what they're wearing, what they look like, like what, you know, them and their boy, who, whatever. They are so much faster to do it online because you're not looking at the person in their face and if you're looking at them in their face you it's a lot harder to be that harsh you know right so, yeah so, so to not having social media i know thank goodness all right so i think we can wrap it up anything else no this was great it was if y'all want to know anything our... else about we might do one for high school 10th 11th 12th because yeah i think we need a guest I think we're going to need some oh, guests. Oh, we may need some guests. Tell Be ready. Guys. Maybe we can get Teresa People. to phone in. Amber. Mm-hmm. Because she also I'm follows and the spectrum if we have Teresa and Amber. Because Amber yeah. would be like, I watched you do all those things. And Teresa was like, the. I think she was the ringleader. Either I think Teresa, uh, us together were kind of Teresa bad. had the water guns. We're just going to leave it right there. Teresa the water gun, but I was the one with the making fun of yes. people directly to their face. Yeah. Well, you didn't mean to. It just got really quiet in the class when you did that. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Have let's, a good night, everybody. I yes. hope you enjoyed seeing um, little 13 and 14-year-old Angela and Betsy tonight. Good grief. And we will I think see we've on our next episode of OK Karen. OK Karen. Bye, y'all.